here in Silicon Valley, there's a bunch of CEOs and founders who've started mm -hmm. Bringing up the A100 and uh, kind of publicly competing with each other about who bought more when and who saw this coming. Uh, it's sort of competing for bragging rights around mm -hmm. the A100. What would you want to say to them? There's more. Come get them. Everybody should win. You know, winners to all. In the past, uh, when you start a company, a software company or a technology company, you need a lot of software engineers. It is still true, and you need amazing computer scientists. But today's startups, and there are some amazing startups we're working with right now, where there are 25, 30 people backed up with a large data center of AI supercomputers powered by A100s. If you want to start a startup today, uh, it's you and AI. And you're supercharged by the AI supercomputer and the algorithms that you have inside and all the data that you're going to teach it with. And so it's really quite a transformation in how startups are going to get built in the future. And now we're, we're uh, onto something even larger than that, you know, built on these AI supercomputers, these large language models. It's definitely a watershed event for the AI industry. It feels very much uh, like the iPhone moment when mobile cloud really took off and all of the environmental conditions feel exactly the same way, just larger and, and uh, much, much more industries. Right now, generative AI is still extremely expensive to mm -hmm. accomplish. How do you think it'll really take off if only a couple big companies have true access to do it at scale? Well, it turns out it doesn't cost that much. And um, the reason why there are so many CEOs with bragging rights on so many A100s is because it's really quite democratized. We took what otherwise would be a billion dollar data center running CPUs and we shrunk it down into a data center of $100 million. Now, $100 million is, uh, when you put that in the cloud and shared by 100 companies, is almost nothing. If you take a look at how much it costs to design a chip, so you put that in perspective, it costs us about 2 to $3 billion to design A100. When I hit enter and ask TSMC to help us make it, that email is $100 million. And then... It populates these AI supercomputer data centers. And when you train a large language model, let's say it costs $10 million. So the, a chip, and there are 3,000 chip companies in the world, taping out a chip is like $100 million, $50 million, $30 million, depending on the size, but nothing less than $10 million. And now you could build something like a large language model, like a chat GPT, for something like $10, $20 million. That's really, really affordable. And, and so I think the, uh, the ability for every industry to create their foundation model, there's gonna be a protein foundation model, a chemical foundation model, there'll be a robotics foundation model, there'll be foundation models for, for science, for you know, finance, for all kinds of different applications in different, different industries and in different countries.